Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are switching gears just for a little bit to talk about something that is very relevant in this game right now, this next three days. These next three days, we have the last match day of the European competitions, Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. And that means that road to the knockout cards, this is their last chance for their teams to win another game or to get in a position in their competition where they would be moving to the knockout stages and that would upgrade some of these cards inside of FIFA. So big games today, tomorrow, and on Thursday. I wanna take a look at some of these fixtures and these road to the knockout cards, how I think they're gonna act because again, these cards, we have not actually ever had road to the knockouts, right? We have always had road to the finals, but these cards are different because after this week and after the upgrades that come on these cards, which I'll talk about a potential time frame for when these will upgrade, these cards are basically done, right? After this week, there's no more live aspect to these cards because again, it was all about getting to the knockouts, right? It's not road to the final, it's road to the knockout. So I wanna talk about the match day six that is today and how I think some of these cards are gonna be impacted on the market as a lot of them are rising. People are investing in them for these upgrades that are gonna be coming very soon. Fred is four, Fred is 500K, 490,000 coins for this Fred card, it's crazy. A lot of these cards are going up in price because people are expecting these upgrades uh, very, very soon. So I wanna talk about that. Also Tuesday content, right? Uh, I wanna talk about the team of the group stage promo that is currently going on. Of course, a lot of these cards that a lot of you guys are wanting to know, when is a good time to be investing in these? I don't think we're at, we're at, we're not at that point yet um, because we are gonna have more supply of these cards on the market today on Tuesday with UEFA marquee matchups. So we'll talk about that as well and other Tuesday content and even look back yesterday at Monday, just a little bit, how we made some coins and the 75 plus player picks, kind of a, a mess up from EA, but that has been uh, fixed it's been rectified, and now those player picks are operating uh, as normal and as usual. So, but let's get into it with Road to the Knockouts because this is really big, right? This is one of the biggest topics this week uh, with these cards because, as we all know, and as we all have been watching these cards, they're getting close to their upgrades, right? Your beloved Bernardo Silva, your Fakir, getting very close to an, an additional upgrade on those cards as we head towards the end of the group stages. Now I want to point out one major thing from this road to the knockout cards, right? Again, there's only two ways that they upgrade for getting the three wins or for qualifying for the knockout stages, right? Some cards that have gotten three wins have already already been awarded a plus one, one upgrade, right? Sané is now an 89, Vidal's an 86, Rodrigo's an 86, Gravenberg is an 84. But I want to really point your attention down here at the bottom, right? Because this is really um, where I'm driving a lot of my points and where I think these cards are going to move in the next, honestly, week. A lot of these Road to the Knockouts are going to have crazy price movements in the next week because Road to the Knockout players are only eligible for upgrades during the group stages, right? So these cards will no longer be live after this week, right? I think what's going to happen is, if you guys remember earlier, um, about a couple, about a week ago, it was actually seven days ago or eight days ago now, last Monday, November 29th is when they upgraded these road to knockout cards that have gotten three wins, right? If they got three wins, they got their upgrade. That might be the new upgrade time for these road to the knockout cards. So for all of you guys wanting to know, all right, uh, Ajax, they're basically through, right? Ajax is going to get another upgrade. They're through to the knockout rounds. This grab and birch is going to go to an 86. When's that going to happen? I think there's two kind of scenarios for that. EA used to upgrade these cards on Fridays. And now it seems like after the first upgrade, they upgraded them last Monday. So it might be like a Monday around midnight UK time frame, or maybe I think it was like 10 PM UK on Monday when they upgraded these cards last week. So that might be the kind of thing we're expecting again, unless they do it differently, if they do it on Friday or some point during this next weekend uh, or this coming weekend inside of the foot freeze promo, because last year road to the finals were incorporated into foot freeze. So they might upgrade the cards a little bit early this time. I don't know, but sometime after Thursday, you can expect these cards to get upgrade and upgraded and that will be their final upgrade. Now, where does this play into right now on the market, right? Again, as we look, so many of these cards are rising up in value, right? Fred 
is suspect number one. This Fred card on Friday was 399,000 coins. Fred is literally up almost 100K over the weekend and into today on Tuesday. It's crazy, right? Why are these cards up? Because people are expecting upgrades. They're expecting Manchester United to beat Young Boys when they play later on this week. They're expecting uh, Bayern, right? We even have a showdown SBC be, uh, with the Sule and with the PK that is kind of highlighting this game uh, with Bayern and Barcelona. This Sané card was 280 over the weekend. He's now up to 310,000 coins. Literally every single one of the road to the knockouts right now in this game that has potential to get upgraded is up in price. They are up in price at the moment because again, people are expecting these upgrades to come. So with these cards up higher in price than what they were before, especially the ones that are getting upgraded, right? Now, there's a couple interesting places to talk about today. There's a lot of scenarios, right? But I want to talk about something first that is overarching for, I think, 90% of these cards. I think that almost all of these Road to the Knockouts cards by the end of next week, so I'm talking like um, after the upgrades, they're going to, all of these cards are going to be dropping in price because a lot of why these cards are the price that they are, like Timo Werner being a million coins on this game. Yes, I know Timo Werner is going to be 90 rated. Um, because Chelsea are through and you know, they already, they've already got the three win upgrade. So he went from an 88 to an 89. This has one more upgrade coming to it, but a lot of why these cards are so expensive in price is because they kind of have that upgrade hype and potential built into them. And people, people buy these cards when they're in packs and they literally hold on to them until the last upgrade happens. And then they sell. You look at these road to the final cards from last year, they always drop off in price heavily when there's no more upgrades possible for these cards, right? So especially since these cards are done, done upgrading after this week, um, then I honestly think that a lot of these cards are going to drop in price. I think this Werner is significantly overpriced, uh, still at a million coins. That is way too high for me. Uh, I think Fred is overpriced. I mean, even from the, for the lower tier level, I feel um, like this Renan Lodi is a bit overpriced. I know he has the insane links to Vinny Jr., uh, but he, his upgrade is very much on the line. This is a very, card, a very interesting card that we're going to have to keep an eye on today as Group B which I believe Athletic Go are in. Yes, Group B it has games today on Tuesday. So Group A, B, C, and D are playing today on Tuesday. And out of all these groups, the only one that can really cause some turmoil and some commotion uh, for prices on the market and for upgrades to these cards is really Group B. All the other groups are like locked in. Um, Dortmund is not going to be making it in. Sporting and Ajax are basically confirmed through. But for Group B is Liverpool and the fight for second place between Porto, Milan, and Atletico, right? Now, on Wednesday and Thursday, when you bring in the second day of the uh, Champions League games, you've got a battle for second place in Group E with Barcelona and Benfica. Villarreal, Atlanta vying for second place in Group F. Even Villarreal at first place if Man United were to lose. And then Group G has a lot of action going on between these four teams. So... These live items are still going to be moving. The ones that are expected to win, right? Man U is expected to beat Young Boys who they're playing. They're expected to get that double upgrade, to finish first in the group, get those three wins, and move on to the knockout rounds. A lot of those cards are up the most. These are the cards, in my opinion, that after they get their upgrade, you're going to see some of the biggest drops on. Like I know Fred, you know, this is a going to look like a really sick card when he's 87 rated. He's going to look insane. And a lot of people are going to want to use him. But again, like I mentioned, so many people are just holding on to these cards, waiting for the upgrades. And I think that's going to drop some of their prices. I'm really scared about this De Young. I'm honestly very scared about this De Young. I know that it has a decent upgrade in pace, defense, and shooting over this Inform De Young. But the Inform is 245k, which is actually up. Um, but th that, for me, this card has a lot of room to drop like this the young card could literally be 400,000 coins later on this week uh, after in my opinion i think Bayern's going to beat barcelona that's just my opinion but if that happens this card's going to drop off a ton because it's not going to get any upgrades and it doesn't have a live aspect to it anymore right i know that road to the finals that we again we've been talking about you look at these graphs as well this is luis muriel from last year right he got very high on this last match day in December, right? And then Champions League and all these European competitions, they're done until um, like February when the knockout rounds kind of heat up again. So you always see a bit of a drop off, but take a look at this, right? 
Muriel from 100,000 coins, right when the upgrade happens, boom, he goes down because everybody sells. Same thing with Ivan Perisic from last year, right? Boom, 51,000 coins down to 16K. I think this card was, they were knocked out of the competition, I believe. And so there were no more further upgrades going to be placed on these cards. So for a lot of these road to the knockouts, they're just, they're going to lose their live upgrading status this week. So like I've got some D up that is on my transfer list at the moment. Now, of course, a lot of these cards, they're going to probably stay high. If they're getting upgraded, I think they're going to stay higher in price until, you know, this weekend, whenever the upgrades get very close. And when the upgrades actually happen, that's when I think you'll see a lot of the prices like dive down as there'll be more people looking to sell than to buy on a few of these cards. Again, like Tapsoba, even, even the up with an upgrade, it's going to go uh, to an 85, then to an 86. If he gets the double then, you know, some of these cards are going to look really, really good. Like Gravenberge, so many people are investing in Gravenberge. You're probably going to see these cards maintain a pretty high price until the upgrades happen. So either this weekend or next uh, Monday. But I honestly think that the peak for a lot of these cards is, in my opinion, going to be, especially with a big time freeze promo expected to come later this weekend. I think the peak is going to be like during the game, like if, especially if this grab a birch or me, maybe even post game um, goes up to like a, a little over 100,000 coins. We have a lot of IX links right now that are pushing this card up even further. I mean, this is a card that is very hyped up and I would sell into that hype, right? So that's, that's kind of where I'm coming from with a lot of these cards. It's going to be very interesting to watch like Tonali, Manafa, uh, and the uh, Renan Lodi, like I mentioned, because those cards are on the brink of getting in. If cards do not get in, like I think this Royce is going to get destroyed in price because this card can't upgrade. And I know he's up right now because of the links to Sule, but like he's last time he went from 355k down to 218, right? That was kind of during Black Friday as well. Uh, but now he's kind of risen back th to 332. But again, I don't know if people are still thinking that Dortmund are in it or something. I don't know why this card keeps rising up with all the road to the knockouts. They are out. They are literally out. They are not They are not moving on. And I think a lot of people are forgetting that these cards don't upgrade past the group stages. So that's kind of my talk about road to the knockouts. Now, I've got a few of them that are on my transfer list still at the moment. I don't have any investments that I made recently, but a lot of these cards that I bought uh, I bought them during Black Friday. I bought the ups at 27,000 coins. Again, we just looked at him and he's like 40,000 coins. I have a couple other ones in the club. I think that's all that I have on my transfer list, but I have a couple other random ones in the club that I bought. I think like an L shot, like 22 or 23 K uh, and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to be looking to sell some of these cards off this week. Um, you know, as the hype is still very, very high, is it, uh, is it Issa Diop? No, I always get the I always get it wrong. What's this guy's first name? Diop. Uh Sofiane? Dang it. I'm gonna find this out. I better just go look at his card because football knowledge is escaping me at the moment. What is this guy's first name, man? There's so many Diops. Um Issa. Dude, wait, I was on is it what? Oh man, I messed it up. Anyways, he's like 40,000 coins. You're going to laugh at that in the comments. I already know it, but I'm just going to sell that in the hype, right? Again, that center back card from the Prem is going to look pretty good. If West Ham can get another W, it's going to get the double upgrade, I believe. And that'll look like an insane card, but I'm going to sell in the hype because I would rather take my safe coins there and then just move on and move forward. So I just see a lot of those cards dropping off in price in the next week or so. So I wanted to kind of give you this warning today on this video and talk through a few of these just so that if you're holding these as investments, my uh, gut feeling is to sell on the hype because again, it's going to be even bigger drop offs than what we saw with Road to the Finals, like the, the Muriel and the Parasage that I showed you because these cars literally, they're just going to become informs and have no more live aspect to them. Uh, although they are pretty rare and they will still be good to trade with, there'll be a lot of great fluctuations with these cards. Long term, they're, they're not going to hold uh, in their value that, that they have so far because there's no more upgrades to them. So that's all the information on the road to the knockouts that I want to share with you. Let's look again at today on Tuesday in terms of this market and this content that we should be seeing today. Now, since it is a Champions League day, like we mentioned, there's going to be road to the final or road to the knockout movements, but there's also going to be Champions League team of the group stage movements as well, because we're going to have some tradable pack supply coming into this game today with UEFA marquee matchups. And I think people are expecting this as well. Every single uh, UCL match day, they expect this stuff. That's a nice undercut on Lewandowski, 270. Uh, but if I can't get a sale at 290, I mean, I really don't think I will either. Then I'm not going to mess with that. But 
a lot of these cards went up yesterday. If we take a look at this team, people got their weekend league rewards. I bought, if you saw last night's video, I was buying Anthony's um, at 150K. I sold them for 197. He actually went up to like 240. So I, I sold too early on that one. But Diago Jal or Tiago Jallo, Don Ruma has been a really good flip. A lot of these cards, Lewandowski, Chiesa, have actually gone up in price from where they were before rewards. I think these cards are going to take another dip today. There's going to be people knowing that the supply is coming. And, of course, we have player picks that are out as well. So, EA released a 75-plus player pick yesterday that was at first an error. And um, now it has been fixed. The 75-plus player pick is here and it's able to be done like normal. Why don't we just do one for the video's sake right now? Uh, just for the fun of it. But yesterday when they released this, uh, it was it was like messed up. And it was actually non-repeatable, which is a, a pain because of course, if you're wanting to do this SBC, you're you're probably wanting to do more than one of them uh, when, you, when you go and set these up. So that's why there were some issues with this SBC yesterday, but it has been fixed and it looks like it's working now. And this is gonna impact the market a little bit because you're gonna have some of these cards uh, as we get our chemistry there, boom. You're going to have some of these cards and some of these people on this game selling Team of the Group Stage cards to do a few upgrade packs and because they know supply is coming today with the UEFA marquee matchup. So I do honestly expect to see Team of the Group Stage cards dropping uh, into today on Tuesday with that supply. Might be a good time to trade with some of them and to flip a few of them. Um, oh, an inform. I will take that. We'll take a nice little inform. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's why these player picks are actually not that bad. So I'm going to be doing a few of these this week to try to maybe craft this like SBC, get some fodder in the club ahead of foot freeze, which is a huge promo for SBC fodder. Um, but yeah, I, I just think that most people are going to pull the, the demand on the market is going to be lessened, right? Because yesterday you had people that were go getting their weekly rewards, going out and trying out some of these brand new players. That's why you saw the, the fluctuations and the movements on these cards that you did, right? People got coins, they got rewards. They said, Hey, I'm going to go try one of these cards out in my team right now. A little bit of gameplay demand. But again, with the people knowing supply is coming today, that's why you're seeing Anthony was 230,000 coins. He's now down to 200K as people are, you know, selling this card. Like they, this guy bought him, used him for a few games and said, all right, I'm going to sell him. And I think you're going to see these prices drop a decent amount today on Tuesday as well. I don't expect any other type of crazy content today unless EA is, of course, as they always could do, do something wild. The uh, showdown SBCs for Sule and PK are going away as that big game is tomorrow on Wednesday. So if last chance to do one of those, I'm going to be passing in my opinion. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing any of those. Just doesn't fit the squad. It's a really cool concept, but none of those really fit the team for me. We might get another, uh, wait, is that a dynamic image on Salah? They added a dynamic image for Salah. All right, that's that's nice. Finally, after this SBC has been out, and it's going away in three days. You get a nice dynamic image on your Muhammad Salah uh, after it was there for forever. Now, we're going to talk more about Player of the Month coming uh, very soon because it's about to be a crazy week of Player of the Month. There's a lot of hype around POTM, and that's going to be unfolding later on this week. I think Friday, we're going to see a La Liga Player of the Month. I think it is going to be on Friday. They're going to drop it probably with the foot freeze promo. Of course, everybody's talking about Vinny Jr. So the voting is out for multiple POTMs now, and uh, we're going to talk about that later on in this week. But you're probably going to see people start preparing, especially for that Vinny Jr. Player of the Month. Uh, selling the inform, selling this team the group stage as they expect that SBC to be one insane, insane card uh, coming onto this game. So keep an eye out for that early speculation, I guess early watching out for those price movements. Although Vinny Jr. right now is actually up a decent amount. He is 670,000 coins and he was like 620 yesterday before weekend league rewards were paid out to everybody. So that's kind of the video for today. It's going to be a great day to trade with Road to the Knockouts if you find the right card, um, especially if like a team, like let's say Manchester United would get scored on first. Uh, and that would mean that if they did not win the game, or sorry, that's going to be tomorrow's game. But like, let's talk about this Renan Lodi just for one quick second. If if one of these teams gets scored on first and Renan Lodi goes from 180,000 coins down to like 130K, in like 10 minutes time or 20 minutes time and it's looking like Atletico Madrid might score again they end up scoring this card probably shoot way back up in price there's going to be tons of fluctuations if the games are exciting today tomorrow and on Thursday 
on some of these cards. Some of the favorites might get knocked off and lose, which would uh, prevent them from getting a double upgrade, or some of the underdogs might come back and win. Like right now, we thought there was no shot that Milan uh, would get out of Group B, but uh, Tonali right now is looking as alive and ever to get out. Of, if they if they can pull off some sort of crazy win, uh, Milan, I believe they play Liverpool. Is that correct? Uh, what's our game that we have today? Is it Milan Liverpool? It is Milan Liverpool and then Porto Atletico. So if somehow if Liverpool's resting and Zlatan shows up big, and I think Zlatan is back from injury. Yeah, he scored a free kick last week, right? So if Zlatan goes off today and Milan beat Liverpool, then that would look really good potentially for whatever happens in the Porto Atletico game. There's still a chance, right, that a card like this could get upgraded. And this would go to an 86. And just imagine how in insane an 86 tonality would be. So there's going to be tons of movement like that and potential movements on the market today. So it's going to be a crazy, crazy day. GG's if you traded with any of these cards. I think I just sold another Donnarumma at 157. Dub. I bought that at 140 last night. So that is a nice W on that one. We made a lot of coins yesterday flipping with these items. As I talked about a little bit last night in the YouTube video. Flipped a couple icons and then flipped a couple more uh, just, you know, position change. Uh, chem style trading cards. A couple of the center backs that we bought over the weekend. Klosterman 157, Tamori 150. I got this at 125. Got this at 138. So a couple day holds. If you bought any of those center backs that were low when the Sule and when the PK dropped, you are seeing those kind of come back in price a little bit, the most meta ones. So GG's if you got involved in any of those as well. But it should be another interesting day on FIFA, man, especially with the RTTK cards and whatever team of the group stage content EA decides to drop uh, on us today. So that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.